the fundamental question that many jurors have is how is a cash award, money compensation, going to fix the harm that was caused when driver A hit pedestrian B three years ago? And, you know, the answer is that that's all we have to give to fix the problem. We can't turn back the clock. We can't give that person back their unfractured leg. We can't, you know, give them back the career that was derailed by that injury. We can get the money, and we try to go beyond that and get them some measure of justice, some kind of official determination that the driver was at fault, and we try, on top of that, to, to, to use it as a teaching moment so that maybe people will learn to be more careful out on the road. One of the biggest problems that our clients bring to us, and it's, it's, it's one of the toughest um, challenges for us, is to compensate them for the emotional trauma of being struck by a motor vehicle. It is oftentimes at the top of the list of people you know, who've been struck by a car, even above the broken bones, which will heal, but they say, I can't feel comfortable, again, getting out on the bike. And we talk to insurance adjusters, and they, they're not willing to put a penny on someone not feeling safe and secure in their own city, moving about by their chosen mode of travel. We do whatever we can, and we're always trying to find new ways of dramatizing to jurors, to insurance adjusters, to decision makers about how emotionally traumatic it is to be, you know, slammed by a huge blunt object from out of nowhere and what it does to your ability to enjoy the city you've chosen and the life you've chosen for yourself.